Warning, the following images are not real. That's right, they are all purely AI generated. I repeat, these images are not real. All these images were made with the latest version of Flux, that is Flux 1.1. Although it's still new, I found a way to use it to make AI influencers. If you want the full blueprint on AI influencers with Flux and other tools, comment blueprint, but you must first subscribe. Now, to get the best results, we're going to use really weird prompts, so I advise you to watch till the end. This won't go past 14 minutes. Don't forget to like the video and let's get started. So now, unlike when Flux 1 released, there are actually only a few websites where you can access Flux 1.1. And even the ones that have it, most of them are not free. Most won't even give you free credits. But trust me, I always find a way. This one only gives you a few free credits, but I'll show you how to make it work. One way to access Flux 1.1 with free credits is by using together.ai. So just go to your Chrome or any browser and search for together.ai. The link should be in the description. As you can see, it's not necessarily an AI text to image generator per se, but you can access Flux 1.1 with it. So now we would sign up, click on get started. As you can see, there are only a few options to use to sign in, meaning we can't even use temporary mail for this one. But as always, at the end, I'll show you how to get more free credits. I'll just use my Google account to sign in. Once you're done, just fill in these details. As you can see, they give you $5 worth of free credits and you can't even use temp mail. Don't worry though, I've got you covered. So I'll fill in the details. When done, click on complete. Now you should be in this interface. To select Flux 1.1, go to models, then scroll down and browse all models. Simply select Flux 1.1 Pro. Then click on open in playground. I'd advise you to watch this video till the end without skipping because for the best result, we're going to use extremely complex prompts. You'll soon see what I mean. Let's start with the normal prompts we've been using before. So I'll type it in. All prompts are in the folder in the description. When done, hit generate it normally doesn't take too much time. As you can see now, don't get me wrong, this image is very good. It's realistic to an extent. However, like most image generators out there, the results are too perfect. They are too 3D. And of course, there's always an extremely blurry background. As we see in everyday life, our skin is far from perfect. And to get the best realism with your AI influencers, we need the skin or image to look more human-like, as if shot by actual cameras. Well, there's a way to achieve this. Let me show you how. Just remove this prompt and then type in something like this. All prompts are in the folder in the description. In case you're wondering, this is only one of the complex prompts we'll use. So just type IMG underscore followed by any four numbers, then .cr2. What this does is simulate an image shot from a Canon camera, thereby adding a more human touch to it. So let's see how Flux 1.1 does with this. Let's see how good the images are going to be. Whoa, can you see this? Chill, let me download and make it wider. Just take a look at this, holy moly. Isn't this just ultra realistic? Though, as I said, it generates random images with this particular prompt. But still, the images are going to be very realistic. This looks like a normal photo taken with an iPhone. And there are more complex prompts to try out. It did make some glitches with the finger though, but no AI is perfect, at least not yet. Now, let's try another complex prompt. For this, I'll just change the numbers. It's done, and as you can see, the randomness took effect. However, I'm not sure, but the numbering seems to have an effect. But what I'll do is remove this prompt, then paste in this one. As you can see, once again, this is AI generated. This is not a picture from National Geographic Wild. I repeat, this is AI generated. If you'd ask me, I'd think someone was able to take a picture of the bed. But to think it's AI generated? Nah. I wouldn't believe it. That's why I feel like there's a lot of hope around Flux, and this is only Flux 1.1. Now, imagine Flux 2. Now, let's have a bit more control rather than generating completely random images. So if you can just head over here after this, simply add in what you want. For example, let's say a cat. After this, click on Generate. And as you can see, it generated a very realistic image. Just remove the tattoos, and you'd have a real-life cat image. Even the tattoos look pretty decent and well-blended in. Once again, I'd probably not be able to tell that this was generated by an AI. So we'll close this for now and then try again with something like this. Then proceed to hit enter. And as you can see, it generated a realistic looking selfie, although it's black and white. It's still very realistic. It looks like a real life photo with just the black and white filter turned on. Now let's use another Essential Flux 1.1 prompt format. So I'll go ahead and type in this. We make sure it ends with dot H E I C. 
And as you can see, it generates this realistic looking image. One thing about Flux 1.1 is that it doesn't have that background blurring, which is the main issue with most image generators out there now. If we go back to our very first image with no camera file formats, you can see that there is massive blurring and it looks way too perfect. To customize this a little bit, so I can just come here and then maybe add woman. Press enter, let's see how it does. And as you can see with the black and white filter, it is very realistic, I mean, come on. Now, one thing to note though, is that if you try something like adding long prompts like this, for context, let's press enter so I can show you what I mean. As you see, the image is good, yes, don't get me wrong, but it's now back to our typical generation where the quality is too perfect and the background is blurred. Now that's one flaw with this though, it'll probably be worked on. But the more text we add after our camera format, the less impact the camera format will have on it, meaning we're back to our 3D avatars. Though, I found a way to get around this in order to have control with it for our influencers and still maintain consistency, but more on that later. Let's get the hang of this one first, as it produces the best results. So come here and do this. And I'll go ahead and type in this. Press enter. It gave me an error saying it couldn't receive the request. I think it all boiled down to this error I made, which I shall fix now. Okay, so it kept on saying the same error, but I later used this prompt. And you can see the type of image it produced. Like, isn't this realistic? Anyone would think it's some crazy photo taken at some random party? I think we've gotten to the point where we need to be scared. Let's try one more. Let's just type this in. It's done, and it literally generated the dinner for us. And what amazes me is that it did it so well, like even the tomato slices. Flux is just too good at this point. Let's make this fancier. And as you can see, the image is even more realistic. We don't have any of those blurry or choppy backgrounds. The eyes though don't look too good, but as I said earlier, no AI is perfect, yet. Now, how do we generate selfie pictures? One secret prompt to use is this. Exit this prompt, then type in selfie.jpg. Hit enter when you're done. Whoa, can you see this? If at this point you aren't impressed, then you must be really hard to please. If you saw this, I don't think you would ever even imagine that it is AI generated. There are zero issues here. The background fits perfectly, it's not blurred. Flux is definitely the future of AI image generation. Now I'm gonna try this prompt, street underscore, then any number. Now, as was my suspicion earlier, the number affects the realism. For this, the number should be a real date. Maybe you can include this here, so I'll just put 218, 918, and press enter. As you can see, the street obviously looks realistic. Now, for context, I used an actual date 2018, with 9 as in September, and 18 as the day. And as you can see, it generated a much better result than when we used random numbers things can only get better from here. So now the question all of you guys have been waiting for or the solution you guys want, how can we use this to generate actual influencers? Because mostly we don't have much control over the images and when we do, the results aren't perfect. So as always, I found a solution. Now we need to use another tool to access Flux 1.1. To do that, just create a new tab and search for rubberband.com without the E. The link is in the description. It should take you to this interface where you can sign up. I'll log in with my Google account. When done, you can see that it's like our common text to image generator. Go to where it says no tool selected and simply select text to image generators. Then ensure Flux 1.1 Pro is selected. I'll also set the aspect ratio to 1 1. Then I'll type in this. At the very end, I'll add in a keyword like amateur. There's another we could add, but since this is the base model, we'll leave it at that. Then we press enter and it should start generating. Now it seems it didn't quite get it right, so I'll just copy this, paste it here, and then add some changes. Now, it has done a much better job. You can pick any of them to use. So you can just download this and use it. Now let's generate realistic selfie images then proceed to show you how to maintain consistency. As always, type in our base prompt first, then add in the action that you want. After that, add an amateur and grainy, and let's see how it does. So it seems like we've run out of free credits here. Simply log out and then sign up again for free.
set the username, and then under email, create a new tab and load up tempmail. Once it's loaded, you should get a temporary email. So copy and paste it in Rubberband. Click on sign up. It says it has sent a code to our mail. So go back, click on it, and then copy the code. Add back and paste it in. We lost our base prompt, but I memorized it though. Make sure 1.1 one one is selected and that Flux 1.1 Pro is selected. Then I'll type in our base prompt, the action which is mirror selfie in this case, and our special keywords like amateur and grainy. Of course, more prompts like this are in the link in the description. Maybe we can add them in the front. Now, as you can see, it's not quite as good as the one in together.ai, but it's still better than the other image generators we've been using. This one is okay, so we can download it. Maintaining consistency is very simple. Create a new tab and head over to Mio Create Face Swap. First, drag in the mirror selfie that we downloaded. Then, drag in the face of our influencer. After that, click on Face Swap Now. It's done, and as you can see, it now looks like our influencer. We can download it. Simply log in to download it. So let's remove the watermark. Create a new tab and search for watermarkremover.io. Click on it. Then upload or drag in the image. As you can see, it's done a very good job, no more watermark. We've agreed that together, .ai has the best results. But what if you want more credits? To get more credits, load up incognito mode, then open together.ai. When it tells you to sign up, choose GitHub. After this, open a new tab and go to GitHub. Once GitHub's loaded, create another tab and open up mail. Now, basically all you're gonna do is use the temporary mail and set up your GitHub account. After that, use that GitHub account to sign up for together.ai. And there you have it. If you found this useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content.